Hi guys, today I have a video that you're all gonna be super surprised by and we have another first impression. I know, I've been doing a lot of these lately, but I've been getting a lot of new stuff lately, so I wanna share it with you guys. So today we're gonna be testing out the ColourPop, what is this called? Chasing Rainbows palette. I feel like I need to be more organized. I never know what anything is called when I'm about to review it or test it out. This is what the palette looks like. It is super cute. I wasn't really planning on getting this palette until I saw that ColourPop was having a promotion where if you spend $50 or more, you get this palette for free. And I also have a collab coming up actually that we will be using this palette doing three looks with. And I'm really excited to introduce you to someone that you probably don't know. But for today's video, it's just going to be me and we're going to be testing out this palette. So I think we're just going to start off by swatching them. So I'll be going from left to right, top to bottom as always. I'll try to squeeze all of these onto my arm and see how that goes. I can't promise that I'll be able to, but I will do my best. So let's get into the swatches. As for the swatches, I thought they all swatched pretty nicely. There's only one shade that I feel like I might have a little bit of troubles with, and that is this one right here, which is like a plummy purple kind of shade. And it's really, really pretty, but it seems like it might be a bit patchy, but we'll see what happens when I put them on my eyes. Now, I don't have a lot of experience with ColourPop's palettes. This is only my second palette. The only one that I have is the Ooh La La palette, which I did a video with and I ended up really liking it. So I'm excited to try out this palette because I like the color story of this a lot. So let me go ahead and prime my eyes and I will be using my MAC Pink Pot to do so with. I think what I wanna do is I want to do a halo eye today and I'm gonna first go in with Manifest, which is the kind of glittery pink shade. Uh, this does have a little bit of glitter in it, but I feel like it's one of those matte shades where the glitter is just going to disappear when you put it on your eyes. And I barely tap my brush into it and it's picking up a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack this into my crease. Now that I have this where I want it, I'm going to go in again with the same brush. This is a Luxie 121 brush and I'm just going to use small circular motions to blend this out. So that shade was not super pigmented. It's pigmented when you build it up, but it definitely needs to be built up. Next I'm going to go in with Keep Cool, which is this darkest of the purple shade. It's more of like a plum shade. And I'm taking this on a Morphe E36 brush and I'm going to be placing this in the inner and upper corner of my eye. Again, I'm just packing this on first and then I will go in and blend the edges afterwards. And this shade is layering nicer than I thought it would. All right, so I got this where I want it now and I'm going to go back and forth and kind of try to blend this out. So I'll be going back and forth between the pink and the purple. So it's gonna look a little something like this. In the middle of my eye, I'm gonna go in with Not Plain, which is just absolutely beautiful, kind of lilac y shimmer. I don't really know how else to describe this. And we're gonna just be putting this right in the middle of my eye. So I think that shadow is absolutely beautiful. It did take a little bit to build up, but I feel like that's pretty typical for ColourPop's shimmers. I'm gonna go back in with this Keep Cool shade just one more time and really intensify the inner and outer corners. And also just making sure that the blend between the matte and the shimmer is looking good. And I want to pull this in a little bit more so that most of the shimmer is concentrated right in the middle of my eyelid. And I will say I'm having a little bit of troubles with the shade, kind of as I expected for my swatches. I don't know if you can see this right here, but there's a bit of like a bald spot where my shadows just won't stick properly. And it doesn't matter how many times I go in and try to build this up, it just kind of goes away. 
I kind of did have a feeling that that would happen with the shade though, so I'm not really surprised in any way. So I think for my bottom lash line, I want to go in with a completely different color because I want to try as many of these as possible. So I'm first going to start off by taking Bring It, which is this teal shade, which is absolutely beautiful. So I'm taking this on a Sephora smudging brush and I'm just going to pack this across my lower lash line before I go in and blend. And that packed on super nicely, so I'm going to take my Morphe M506 brush and just run this across until this is as blended as I would like it to be. And I think this blended out super well too, so I'm very impressed so far. I think for my inner corner I'm going to use... Blurred Lines, which is this shimmery shade up here. It's really hard to see when the palette is like shiny. So I'm going to take this shade and I'm going to pop that into my inner corner. I'm not going to use a lot of this, just right in where my tear duct is. And that is stunning. I didn't even spray this and that is beautiful. All right, I'm liking this a lot. So let's see what I want to do with the rest of this. I think I have an eyeliner that's going to match my lower lash line perfectly and this is Deep End by Urban Decay and I feel like this is like a perfect match so I'm gonna pop that in there. And I need to do a small wing with this, I'm also going to put on some mascara and then I'll be right back. Here is the completed look! I don't know how many times I do this where I put on a lipstick and then I do my eye look and then I don't feel like my lipstick really matches anymore but I'm gonna just leave it on because these are some new Colourpop products that I tried that I got in the same package that I got the palette in. And so I am wearing the Lippy Pencil in the shade Lumiere, and on top I have this gloss, which is from the Designer Collection, it's, it's in the shade Boo. And that's basically why I got it, because I thought a lip gloss in the shade Boo is just so cool. So yeah, that will sum up my first impression on the Chasing Rainbows palette. I will have a 3 looks 1 palette up with this and a review probably at the end of next week. So I hope you are looking forward to that. This is what the palette looks like so far. All the shades that I used, except for this one right here, were pretty easy to work with. I uh, didn't really have any issues other than this one taking a little bit longer to build up and it didn't have as much of a building power as I was hoping it would. But other than that, I mean, for the price, Colourpop is obviously very inexpensive. Uh, you guys know I don't do a lot of information about the products that I test out in my first impressions, but I will leave the link down below to Colourpop's website if you want to know more information about this palette. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye!